Hey guys, Rachel CPR here. Today I'm going to do kind of a fun video. I am going to share with you my top five fragrances that I am absolutely loving right now. I have quite a few of them that I wear on a regular basis, but what I did was I narrowed it down to my top five and I'm going to share them with you today. Okay, I'm gonna go right into this so that this video is nice and short and sweet. And I'm going to put the notes across the screen and I'm going to tell you what they smell like to me with those notes all mixed together. So I'm not gonna do this in any kind of order. It's just randomly being pulled from my stash of things that I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna start off with Gucci Bamboo. Oops, I twisted that. There's Gucci Bamboo and I absolutely love this fragrance. It is. A very, I think of all of the fragrances I have that I wear on a regular basis, this is my most serious fragrance. And I say serious simply because in general, the fragrances that I'm drawn to are, have two of the main things that I love when it comes to scents. And that is either rose or a very nice um, florally sound, scent and baby powder. I love the smell of baby powder so much. I think I like the smell of baby powder more than I like the smell of rose because I do not like the scent of vanilla very much in fragrances and I do not like the scent of like a very musky kind of, is it, yeah, musky kind of scents. I don't usually go toward those and so this one right here is more of a floral with a hint of a sweet baby powder. It may be vanilla that's making it smell like that, maybe a tiny touch of it, but um it is, to me, it's coming off as baby powder and I absolutely love this scent. But again, this is my most serious scent that I wear and that is again, Gucci Bamboo and I love it. Next, I didn't realize how many of Kate Spade's fragrances that I love and I was so sad when I heard the news about what happened with her. That really made me feel so sad because then I started looking around my home like, wow, I have so many things from her because I just liked her vision of what she would put out there. But anyway, to go further, it's I have her in full bloom. And that's what this looks like. This clearly is a floral scent. It has, oh, this is rose all over. All day, all over, this is rose. And I absolutely love this perfume. Oh my goodness, this makes me feel so happy and warm and fuzzy. This is just a wonderful smell. It definitely smells like flowers, but... Again, it is a little bit more of a serious scent. I have a lot more playful scents than this one right here, but this is more of a serious scent and I'm really looking forward to wearing this all summer long because this is a scent that is good for a like date night. It's good for, you know, just having a little bit of a grown up, like you're meeting with someone and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna have a grown up moment. That is what I really like this for, but it is definitely very floral, feminine and sweet. The next one, let's see which one I will go to. Do I, I have another Kate Spade? I'll just go to that one right now. And that one is Walk on Air, Sunset. And this is what it looks like. And this one is more along the line of the baby powder end of what I like to look for. And it is a very, very soft and mellow scent that I feel that is a great daytime go to work scent that is not very offensive and powerful. If you are working in an office, I mean, you definitely have to consider whether or not someone around you would have a sensitivity to your fragrance. I think this is one of those scents that would definitely blend in well. It is nice and present, like you don't put it on and not, in, and you don't smell it as much as it is just not so powerful that you are offensive to anyone who has a sensitivity to smell or who just doesn't like to, like even if someone isn't allergic, sometimes they just don't like to smell a lot of things. This is a really nice one. I love this right here for um, school or work or anything like that. This is really a great one. So then I'll go to my Marc Jacobs. This is Daisy Love and I'll turn it this way so you can see the name of it. Maybe you won't be able to see it right there. Daisy Love and this one is one of my newer ones, and this is a more sweet, oh, this smells so good. This is more of a sweet smell. This is definitely something, it's flirty, it's fun, it's summer. It has a hint of um, a fruity smell instead of a floral smell mixed with the baby powder smell that I love so much. And 
I really like this one. This one is definitely one that it's kind of like the I'm going to the beach, but I want to put on my fragrance and um, have a fun time. Uh, amusement park fun. It is just going outside, doing things with your children, going on a walk with your with your husband kind of fun. It is, it's just a nice, fun, flirty fragrance, but then it is very, very mild, very mild. And I really do like it. Um, and then I go to my last one that I have been wearing on a very regular basis, and that is Juicy. And this one is, I have quite a few Juicy fragrances, but this one is Juicy from Juicy Couture. And again, baby powder all over the place. That's what this smells like today. It just smells like more of a grown-up baby powder. And I love this. This has been something I've been wearing for a very long time. This is my either second or third bottle of this product. And I absolutely love it. This is like one of my favorite scents to just go to because it is perfect for every occasion for me. And so this is a definite go-to for me. So those are my top five fragrances that I have been loving. And I think one that I just purchased from Victoria's Secret, maybe make it into this pile next. And this is the Angels Only fragrance. And this one, oh, I, can't, I have to smell it. I have to smell this one. Everything in here is gonna smell like every kind of fragrance. Oh my goodness. This does not have a baby powder scent. It, do, it does have that kind of fruity floral scent, but it's very different from all the rest of my perfumes. But I absolutely love this thing so much. I love the bottle. I love the scent. It is very soft and feminine. And it's powdery, but it doesn't smell like baby powder because I know some people don't like anything that's going to smell like baby powder. But this has a very powdery scent because it's mellow. But then at the same time, it does not smell like baby powder. I'm still trying to place this one right here because as much as I love it, it doesn't necessarily fit into the categories of perfumes that I normally like. And I think that may be a little bit of the draw of it to me. But it is a great fragrance and these are on sale right now. So I was so happy when I got this. So those are all of my fragrances. And I, I think the only other fragrance two fragrances that I would have in this pile if I had them right now are Calyx from Clinique. I absolutely love that fragrance. I've loved it for years. It makes me sneeze, but I've loved it for years. And the bottle that I had, I had a great big bottle and when I was cleaning my closet, I broke it. It hurt so badly because it crashed into my Ralph Lauren romance. And so the two of them together were in a pile on my carpet a pile of glass and they did not smell very good to mix together. So I didn't even get that last piece of the fragrance, nothing. It was so frustrating. And then the other one that I would have here is C from Giorgio Armani, but I do not have any more of that one. I think I, I have like half a squirt of Giorgio Armani C in my bottle over there. And that is when I definitely have to repurchase. So those are the only ones that I would have included in this if I still had them. But that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys, and I will see you again very soon.